Hello everybody, this is to QNPG here. I'm Heiko at Grand Prix Shizoka on Sunday. And I'm here with uh, artist Lucas Graciano. Uh, thank you for being here with us. He's giving us an interview. So first of all, let me start by, uh, where are you from? Uh, from San Diego, California. All right, uh, have you lived there your whole life? Or? Yes. All right, yeah. so you're born and raised, there. yeah. So you, you enjoy where you are right now? Oh yeah. Very cool. Um, can you tell us a little bit about how you started painting and doing illustrations in your life? Um, I started uh, just pretty much drawing as a little kid. I always, uh, you know, I looked at comic books at the, at the local comic stores and the, the little card art that uh, Frank Rosetta and Boris Leho would do. And then uh, just eventually started getting a little more serious about it. So I got some training, went to the school and, and, and trained. And, uh, Make a long story short, and here we are. Okay, so how long have you been doing it professionally? Probably about ten years. Um, not magic. Magic I, I've been working on since about M11. Um, but uh, I worked doing conceptual design, visual development for Sony for a while. Oh, cool. Um, Any particular games? Or I worked on uh, the first God of War. Oh, wow. That was a pretty Very good cool. one. Um, worked on a lot of the SOCOM series. Um, I worked for Sony Cinematic Department, so we got a lot of range of stuff to work in. Cool. Uh, we did like sports stuff and uh, the SOCOM stuff. So it was a cool, fun Very oh, nice. Uh, how did you get started in Magic? Um, I talked to Jeremy. I think I went to uh, a Comic Con. I think Jeremy did a Comic Con or somewhere, but he saw my work somewhere and he gave me a shot. And uh, I did okay in the first round, um, and he knew it. He, he's like, yeah, I didn't get my best stuff, so okay. um, I didn't work for the next couple of sets. And then uh, uh, we ran into each other at an AluxCon, which is a convention on the East Coast, uh, once a year. And uh, he saw my work, he's updated, and uh, started giving me work. That. Actually, that's when he assigned me the, the Grave Titan. The Grave Titan, is that, is that the one, one you particularly like? Yeah, that's the one I'm, I'm can, can you maybe show us? Yeah, so um, I'm going to be honest with you. I did not know until this event happened that this was actually your your art because yeah. when I when I looked it up in Gatherer on on the Wizards homepage, it didn't actually show up. What's what's up with that? Um, well, Mills Ham, he's the guy who did the original Grave Titan. Um, Wizards had decided to redo the art for for that for a special promotion, and um, he I, my guess is they just switch out the template, not the uh, switch out the art, not the template. Right. So he still gets credit for this one, unfortunately. <laughs> yeah. So there, there was a, a small mishap, I assume. Sometimes this happens with cards, like we've seen it before with other ones. So you guys, now you know this is actually his art. It's very cool art. He he likes it very much himself, and now you know, like. If you ever see him around anywhere, he's going to be happy to sign it. I see. <laughs> That's right. Um, so, is there anything in the future that you have coming for Magic? Maybe it's something you can talk about already. Maybe something you can see. Um, uh, I can't talk about anything. I've got a lot of work coming up. All right, really. That's cool. So, what's what's the next set we're going to see? Do you know? Uh, probably the next one. I've, I've been working on it, you know, the stuff that's coming out is stuff I had done maybe six to eight months ago. Oh, wow. So it's, 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 that's kind of, we're about that far in advance, sometimes even further out. But uh, yeah, I don't, I don't know exactly, like, like all the, there's kind of names that I don't really understand as far as like the, okay. the, uh, the placeholder names for the sets. And, so I just, I just paint and then they, <laughs> they go wherever you know, they want to put it. You know. how, how long does it usually take to paint an art, something artwork for magic? It depends how complicated the piece is. So, for example, the Grave Titan. That one took a while because there's a lot of little characters, and, and it was a promo card. And I really wanted to kick. You know, I wanted to make it look good. <laughs> right, got it. So um, that one took quite a while. You know, maybe a couple weeks. Um, wow. You know, off and on. And so you really dedicated yourself to the piece. Yeah, I think That's so. That's really cool. Yeah, I think you outdid yourself on that one. It's really awesome. Thank you. Um, so, is this your first time in Japan, or have it you been is. here before? No, nope, first time. And how are you enjoying it so far? Oh, I love it. Really? Yeah. Like, what, what do you like about the country? Oh, it's just great. The people are great. I mean, it's, everyone is so courteous and um, just very, uh, very welcoming and you know, very, you know, open to help. You know, sitting there looking at the map, and where are we? You know, somebody will come over and they'll say, hey, you know, right, right. We're doing nice. some help. Yeah. So, uh, what I actually saw a small episode here is um, yesterday there was apparently like a big fan of yours that came and he gave you some cards of his. Like he gave them to you, like Japanese cards. Uh, oh yes, yes. So, so what was up with that? Can you tell us more about that? Um, he was just a nice fan. He, he had some extra um, uh, cards that were in Japanese, and I always like collecting my own okay. cards, you know, and, and cool. even in the different languages. So that was kind of cool. To was get that, that. What, was that your first Japanese cards? I don't know. It might have been. It <laughs> might have been. I've got very cool. Be. So yeah, so you got to take care of them. Yeah. Take them home with you. All right, very nice. So you have a 
something to remember the trip and I hope to see you around again in the future. Alright, thank you very much. This was artist Lucas Graciano. Make sure to check out, check out his art in the future and uh, we'll see you around again. Thank you very much.